Hey everyone, today we are back snow plowing with a landscaping company. We received our first blizzard of 2021, over 28 inches of snow. I've been out plowing for the last 15 hours straight and the phone just keeps on ringing for more driveways to be cleared. We came over to the Lone Oak County to make some more money. Our plow truck today is a 2021 Ram 3500 regular cab long bed with the Cummins. We have a brand new Fisher XLS plow on it. Pretty sweet. This is an 8 foot blade with two wings that come out to around 10 feet and we could do a little bit of scoop. Now our F450 is still in the works to get the Fisher put on it. So we needed the extra salter. So I put it on the Cummins for now and already went through two full salt loads at all of our parking lots. But let's hop on in. We got to get to plowing. I'm really excited to be back here with a landscaping company, especially using a brand new work truck. We bought this only a few days ago and we are already putting it to work here. Let's get it fired on up here. And that is one heavy plow up front there, especially with those wings. Now there is a full mods list down below linked uh, to my website if you guys would like to go check it on out and if you guys haven't already go hit the like button since it does help out with the YouTube algorithms now today we do have a camera and tripod with us along with a GoPro camera up top here this is a pretty sweet camera view here but up first we're coming up on a very long driveway now luckily these uh, customers did pl uh, put out plow markers for us which is going to make it a lot easier for us it is just really really hard to kind of see these roads Roads. Uh, see the driveways when you're plowing them for the first time here but let's just do the straight blade I really think this plow will work out really good here for us today let's put the blade down and keep going I'm really excited though to be back here snow plowing. I did get a little bit of snow in the last few days, but snow plowing is a ton of fun here for me. It's a great part of the winter and it's a great way to make some extra money, especially when you work all season long uh, using all the equipment with landscaping jobs. So snow plowing is usually uh, pretty popular with trucks here. Let's see, we'll try to put it not towards her walkway. We don't want to block her in uh, since people do need to get in and out there, but this uh, plow looks awesome here, but two full loads of salt we've already used. Now if you do have any cool ideas here for me, please drop them down below here in the comments. I'm really excited for 2021. It's going to be an epic year and we're starting off the year strong which is definitely a great way to get going. Let's make one last pass here on the way out. Now with the plow being so wide, over 10 feet, it is really helpful here. We're making sure that we are as efficient as possible, making as much money while doing a really, really good job here. And these long driveways are a big money maker for us uh, since they do have a lot of work here. Not uh, a usual kind of shorter driveway here, but it's nice to kind of go over to different counties, help out, especially when all the other plow truck drivers are busy and uh, people just need their driveways cleared here but this is such a neat camera view here really do want to add even more camera views here maybe a backup camera I think that would be a pretty sweet thing here but let's head over here to this subdivision it should be coming up over here here it is so yep and I think we have around four or five houses to do in here and then we do have a few others to do we're, we're, we're gonna just keep plowing until we need to kind of go uh, sleep for the night here because when it snows that's the time to make all the money and get to use these trucks to push snow now if you guys haven't already I do recommend you guys go check out the previous upgrade videos we just picked up this Cummins we actually traded in a uh, 2020 dually for the single rear wheel and so far using it this snowfall I really really do like this one a lot such a neat looking truck and we do have some awesome strobes on and I think strobe lights LED light bar up top is definitely the way to go and make sure that everyone around us knows that we're a plow truck uh, because we do a lot of backing up a lot of just driving and we definitely want everyone one to be aware to avoid any possible accidents or anything like that.
I've really enjoyed adding in that new camera perspective. That camera and tripod is a pretty neat add-on. And if you guys definitely want to see more of that, please let me know down below here. It's a lot of fun to make those. And I do use my second computer to make that here. And I highly recommend if you guys want to see what I use here, there will be a video coming out within the next month or two uh, with my uh, 2021 gaming setup here. But I did make a video on the new PC as well, which is awesome. It's always nice uh, to build a new PC and just have that. That overall uh, great experience there here but so far this Fisher has been pretty good and for the landscaping company we actually only run fishers I think uh, owning the same plow for all the trucks is the way to go that way if one breaks you could put it on a different one and just be on your way again back to making that money and this looks to be a pretty new subdivision that we are in here pretty nice development and we are coming up on driveway after driveway that's fine with me we're making that money and let me know down below in the comments guys if you have ever been snow plowing i've been it's a lot of fun being in the plow truck and it is a pretty neat experience here but these plows are a lot of weight here even though this is a brand new truck we only have like 300 miles on it in the last few days but we are already putting it to work here these trucks aren't meant for show they're meant for work and that is what we are doing with this one and this is probably one of my top favorite cummins now in farm sim as well i am just a huge fan of the work trucks the regular cab long beds uh, since they're actually pretty affordable and uh, they're just kind of bare bones work trucks which is all you need to get the job done we definitely have to go pick up another load of salt from our local supplier we got to get it done before it all ices up and uh, that is extra money for us I just got a call from one of our employees. He brought the cat back oh, into the county to help out with a few different lots. And he actually had to go run help out with another plow truck that did get stuck. So let's head over there. We'll use a backhoe to get that lot cleared out here. But the camera and tripod is such a fun thing. And it is a pretty neat perspective here as well. Especially for snow plowing. I really do like that quite a lot here. But this truck has some pretty neat strobes all over it. We have the light bar up top here. We have them in the taillights and the front lights even the fog lights which is a pretty neat thing here but we are coming up here on the diner and we definitely have to find a pretty safe place to park here with snow it's always slippery and icy and we definitely don't want to end up kind of having a car slot into our brand new truck i think we'll park here yeah we're good off the road now when i am snow plowing i do not turn the truck off i only turn off to get it fueled on up here and always the plow has to be dropped here that's a lot of weight on the front suspension a lot of wear and tear and i do want to kind of keep the truck looking good but so far it is looking nice it is covered in salt we definitely have to do a full pressure wash and all the equipment because salt rusts everything out here but let's hop in the cat let's get the strobes going now he did say he did do the John Deere dealership he did a pretty good job wow that looks cleared on out there but sometimes things happen like this and we just gotta be flexible and we just gotta keep making that money here now let's see this will be a little tricky looks to be uh, pretty busy wow uh, in a blizzard there looks to be a lot of people uh, coming on out here almost getting rear-ended there looks like we're even getting honked at which is a little funny but if you guys haven't already i do recommend you go check me out over on instagram i am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel just a lot of neat things and i have a lot of cool ideas for 2021 and hopefully we could do some more collaborations with some other farm some youtubers i think that would be a lot of fun here but what i'm thinking is I'm going to get out the camera and tripod again, get some action of the backhoe. Uh, since we actually uh, don't usually use this, I'm a big fan of the plow trucks, just kind of making videos with those. But we do have some plans to use more of these here in some upcoming videos. But I'll catch you back once we have the lot all cleared on out.
We're just finishing up here at the diner. That cat did a pretty good job, made quick work of the parking lots, and hopefully we could use that back a little bit more during the snowfall season. But there we have it, guys. That lot is done here. Let's hop back in the Cummins. We have one more to do here, which is the KFC. And usually when I plow out fast food places, any restaurants, they come out with some food for us as a nice uh, kind of treat. And definitely want to get some food here because I've been out for over 20 hours now. And we definitely need to get some sleep here. But having coffee, having some sodas has definitely really helped on out here. But when you're snow plowing, you just keep working until all the driveways are complete here. Because this is the time to push as many uh, driveways in to make that money. And then you get to rest until the next snowfall here. But the KFC is just up the road. We're coming up on the KFC lot here. Looks like they did pl uh, put out plow marks here for us which which is much appreciated like I did touch upon guys it takes a lot of extra time when you have to kind of learn a lot especially without the plow markers but using the fisher with all the uh, wings folded out is a lot easier for us this oh wow max height we should be just reaching that as we make the turn here this will be a tight turn for the Cummins but yeah we're doing it no problem and we are definitely pushing that snow here another tight turn for us as we kind of go along but, oh, wow, just barely making it by. Pretty neat, uh, pretty kind of small parking lot we have uh, to kind of work with here. Now, I do like doing these commercial lots here. I think we'll try to do a little bit more commercial. They pay a little bit more than the residential driveways, and they do take a little bit more time, though, which is no problem here. We need to get the drive through out because many other plow truck drivers are going to be coming here uh, to also grab a bite to eat here because when you're working, you really don't have time to make any food. And also, you're on the road. You don't want to kind of drive all the way home to grab a sandwich or something like that here. But I hope everyone has just had a great start to the new year as well. Mine's been pretty good so far i do have about a month left here uh, for my winter break which i'm really excited for a lot more videos to come and i can't wait for what's to come here but let's do some first person action now with the steering wheel i will have to say farm sim is awesome just like a plow truck in real life just that we are here in a video game which is pretty neat and you guys can see backing up is always a little tricky here but we use the mirrors, and I don't think we have the backup camera. Yeah, it looks like we don't uh, since we did uh, kind of uh, take the tailgate off there. Definitely have to see if we could buy one, though. That would really help us on out. Now, I've done so many plowing videos here on the channel, especially with FS19. So let me know down below, guys, what has been your so far favorite plowing video here. Really want to do a lot more of these, especially during the winter. This is our only uh, time we get to play with snow. Get uh, to put these plows to work on these trucks here. But you guys can see making some really good progress. And it looks like just uh, kind of a lot of straight blade action here today. Not really much uh, kind of throwing the snow in too many uh, tricky areas. Sometimes these lots are hard to kind of maneuver around here but a little bit of snow plow drifts as well wow uh, it looks like we need to be taking a little bit smaller paths so we don't have these wind rows on either side here but let's see how much more we have i think we're pretty much coming to oh yeah wow look at that here so fast when you have the right equipment it is a whole lot easier to get the job done there we have it guys, we've just finished snow plowing for the first blizzard of 2021. Over 20 hours of snow plowing here, it's time for me to go get some sleep at the house and let the truck uh, kind of de-ice here and get some rest. Hope you guys enjoyed today's snow plowing video, drop any ideas down below. Once again, I do have a full mods list up on my website, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.